Welcome and thank you for joining the webinar today. My name is Amanda Jadro. I'm the Portfolio Manager with Tricom. As a financial solutions provider to the staffing and consulting industry, it is our philosophy to be an active member in the staffing industry by staying abreast of the ever-changing marketplace. For that reason, Tricom was pleased to launch the Industry Insider webinar series designed to share our expert knowledge and resources with our fellow staffing industry colleagues. One of our core values is to build relationships and become a leading resource to staffing and consulting firms nationwide. Our presenter today is Mary Jo Heim. From her first job pricing flash cubes at the Treasure Island retail store her father managed, Mary Jo has an early professional history of working with numbers. She earned a Bachelor of Business Administration accounting degree at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee and joined the TRICOM team in 1996. Mary Jo is a certified public accountant and a certified payroll professional. She is also an active member of the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants and the Wisconsin Institute of Certified Public Accountants. As the Director of Accounting and CFO, Mary Jo likes being able to use her knowledge and experience to assist others and help them successfully grow their business. When she's not hiking or hitting the 10 key at Tricom, Mary Jo lends her talents to her church as treasurer. Mary Jo also loves to spend time with her family doing everything from baseball to biking, hiking, camping, exploring museums, and taking in factory tours. She and her family also volunteer each week at the Happy Endings No Kill Cat Shelter and have helped numerous animals find loving homes. Today, Mary Jo will be presenting our webinar, Break Even Analysis Tool, Understand the Components of Reaching a Profitable Bill Rate, Understanding the total cost incurred with each temporary placement is a necessary component for determining an appropriate bill rate. Furthermore, it is an essential element to the success of your staffing business. In today's edition of our Industry Insider webinar series, Mary Jo will discuss the break-even analysis tool specifically designed to incorporate the cost of doing business and provide you with a break-even bill rate. This essential tool will assist you with quoting a bill rate that will maximize your firm's profitability while maintaining a competitive markup. We'll discuss use of the break-even analysis tool, components of the tool, and gross margin calculations. By the end of this session, you'll be able to confidently determine bill rates that will position your staffing firm for success. If you have any questions during the presentation, please utilize the Q&A feature located on the right toolbar. After the presentation, there will be time for questions and an opportunity for you to give us your feedback on today's webinar by completing a short exit poll. Please join me in welcoming Mary Jo Heim. Good afternoon, and thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, today we're going to discuss a long time tool um, Tricom clients have had this tool for quite a while, but we're going to kind of go through it and we're going to be able to discuss some of the uses of it and some different ideas of how this can be used as we move forward. Um, the uses of the break-even tool. It can be a training tool. Um, I've experienced uh, in many years of staffing that um, sales staff and recruiters focus, uh, used to focus solely on the bill rates or markups. Um, sales personnel were not trained um, to set bill rates, you know, they're, they're told set bill rates at this markup, one, you know, 1.3, 1.4 over pay rate. Uh, slowly over the years, they've decided to move forward and look more into the exact burden of what is being charged. Uh, it's been my experience that uh, organizations that move to this bill rate method or this gross profit method are more likely to gather everything and make sure that they're including everything in when they determine what their profit is. The break-even analysis can be used as a strong planning tool. Decision makers can use it in what-if scenarios. For example, and we're going to go through the exact tool later, but an example would be um, fixed overhead. I am 
looking at how much gross profit I will need to make in my office or how many hours I'll need to bill at a certain gross profit amount to make sure that my office is profitable or how many hours will I need to bill at an on-site in order to be able to afford the startup costs of that on-site. Uh, as a sales tool, we've seen many organizations pay commission percentages based on a gross profit percent for each temporary. By training your sales staff on calculating the break-even rate and utilizing the tool to help them with different gross profit scenarios, you'll be offering them a way to increase their commissions. The break-even tool can also be used to determine the actual break-even rate. That's originally what it was created for. For those instances when you just want to make sure that your expenses are covered. Uh, for in that rare instance where you may have a bad placement and you just want to make sure that your expenses are covered. We provide this report as a service to our TRICOM clients, but it's not to say that you can create the same spreadsheet concept as we have today. A few critical items to consider or remember. You need to keep your SUDA rates updated. State unemployment rates change. In some states, they're changing quarterly. Other states, they're changing uh, in July. Most states ch are changing the unemployment rates on the first of the year. Our break-even includes the as-of date, if you will, to make sure that we're, you're using the most current information and that if your unemployment rate went up, that you're using the most accurate information to make sure that your gross profit is actually calculating as it needs to be. Um, we also, in our break-even, we do not take into account FUTA and SUDA limits, so when, you, when your employees hit those limits, you're only going to get a better gross profit percent. Uh, workers' compensation is the other item. This is one of the areas I see owners fail to include the correct information. Remember to calculate the adjusted rate, not just the raw rate. The adjusted rate would include additional charges to your policy, such as your experience modifier, your state fund assessments, your ARAP modifier, or second injury charge, or other increase, you know, increases to limit, and that's just some of the charges. There, there are some constants that need to be included, et cetera. Review your policy to make sure you're including all of them. Also include your policy dates to ensure that you have the most current policies similar to the pseudo rates. Now we're going to talk about the components of the tool. Um, in the first area, let's go to the next page. So we're looking at the break-even analysis tool, and the first area is really where the data entry takes place. Uh, this area is where you're going to discuss your pay rate or your sample pay rate and you're going to put in your workers' comp code. Uh, in our spreadsheet, the workers' comp code is a drop-down, and it will have all the rates of all the states that you have on your current policy. Therefore, you're able to pick the correct code and pick the proper rate, so we'll make sure we're calculating this correctly. Um, be sure, if you are doing this through TRICOM, that you are requesting and sending to uh, TRICOM or Lori Biney each time your policy changes. Therefore, we can make sure that we're updating this break-even as well because we communicate throughout the company. If there's new rates in, we make sure that you get an updated break-even analysis. We also include the full service if there's some type of processing cost that's involved. Not only in, in some case, in our example, we're showing the full service, you know, off full service rates. So you may, you're going to have different rates in there. You could have um, additional costs that would be associated within there that you want to add. Uh, in this example, you can include costs associated with funding, with payroll, uh, some other sample fees for back office items. You could include discounts in there. You could include VMS charges, MSP charges, et cetera, can all be included in that. It's just a free-flowing percentage field based on your billing that you can add to it for whatever, whatever reasons. We've had people that just want to add an extra 1% for whatever you put in here for overhead, et cetera. The workers' comp field for TRICOM's template, as I said, is a drop-down with all the applicable codes available. Uh, as you can see, we include the policy renewal date on ours so you can see if you're using current rates. The burden section. You could add to the there's other items you could also add to this equation if you were interested in, if you had um, extensive liability insurance. 
If you had expensive overhead costs or internal processing costs that you also wanted to include in there. Um, when we get to the burden section, we're really talking about the employer costs, meaning your FICA, federal, your federal unemployment, your state unemployment, and your workers' compensation. Additional burden costs could include St. Louis pet tax. Uh, in Massachusetts, there's a health care cost. In New York, there's an MPA tax. In the state of Washington, there's a B&O tax. Any, any tax that you know is going to be based on your payroll that is paid, if you're in Chicago, there's a head tax for Chicago. There's some, San Francisco has certain taxes. We talk about these, when we're setting this up for our clients, we talk about anything that's going to be payroll related that we include in this burden because we want to make sure that we're covering everything so when you send this out with your sales staff that they're confident that, we're, that if you give them a, a certain percentage or a threshold that it's all encompassing and we're not missing anything. Okay, let's, let's walk through the break-even analysis tool line by line. So as we discussed, the first line is FICA. It, it's included Social Security and Medicare, and as you can see, it's the 7.65%. The second line is the FUTA. This, has, this is modified for certain states. It's 0.6% it's is your flat rate. In this example, we have a 0.8%, but it's 0.6% plus there's the three states, we're down to three states right now that have FUTA reduction, California, Connecticut, and Ohio. Within our spreadsheet, we make sure we take into consideration those FUTA reduction states because you don't want, again, you want to make sure that it's all encompassing. Then we have SUTA or state unemployment. This rate's linked to the first two letters of your worker's comp code, so we know we're pulling it from the proper code, and then we're pulling it from your unemployment rates. Uh, TRICOM clients are quite aware that we're very aggressive on trying to make sure that we are gathering all the current year rates. Um, the accounting staff uh, is busily working now, contacting states, going online, taking the rates that you've sent us to make sure that we have as many 2016 unemployment rates available that are out there. And so we will update any break-evens that we have with the appropriate rates. And if we don't have a rate, We'll make sure that everyone's aware that that rate hasn't, there's a few states right now that the rate hasn't come out. Um, typically, New York is a great state that you end up not having your rate out until April every year. So we contact clients. Clients are aware that these states do not have the unemployment rates. But as best we can, we try to get the information out and ready to work through your break even. Note that your template includes embedded notes to ensure that the rates are up. As you can see, this one particularly says old rates, contact carrier for or TRICOM for your workers' comp. You'll have an as of, your current rate, and rate through is written inside your um, break-even analysis tool. So you'll know whether you have an updated information. The workers' comp is calculated, as the next item is calculated, based on the code you choose in the data entry area. Note that we also, have, again, as I said, we have embedded the workers' comp. The entire burden is then calculated. Finally, it takes into consideration, as I said, whatever processing cost you had put on the top as it calculates a break-even. So far, our example is uh, with the rates we have in, in the sample, and this is a Missouri sample, and as you can see with the rate of 2.94 of unemployment, that this break-even rate is at 11 77. So when, when if they pay at $10, the break-even rate is $11.77. So at $11.77, you've covered all your payroll burden and any additional amounts you put in your product. As we discussed, the, the break-even rate is simply the rate where all the above costs are covered and you have a zero profit. And right below that, you'll see the break-even double check. It's the calculation of just 40 hours, just a sample of doing the math that says, all right, if you put in 40 hours at your 11.77, you have 470.75 as your bill rate, and then all the additional charges and the payroll costs, and it shows that it's zero, and then your markup was really 1.18 in this example. The, the, this is really just a, a look at situation just so you can see how the numbers multiply out. Some, it, it was requested a while ago that said, all right, fine, you gave it to me,
but show me what it does for hours. So that's, there's really no input on this screen. This is just a sample showing that, see, you have no profit, and this is how the math comes out. The main piece of, for me anyway, the main piece of this analysis is the gross profit calculation section. There are three sections of calculation in here. It's the percentage over break-even, the gross profit percent, and the markup percent. This is what I call my, the, real, the most robust piece of this calculation. A lot of us will, most of us hope that we're not just trying to figure out what the break-even of a situation is. That's how this original spreadsheet was started. But what we're really looking for here is we we're, want we're to do what-if scenarios. We want to be, we want to know what's going to happen if I bill this much at this much gross profit. We want to know where do I need to be to get the profit, the gross profit percentage I'm looking for. So this break-even piece, the gross margin calculation piece, has got two pieces of data entry. That being the number of hours worked and your bill rate. So we already know what the break-even rate is. We've, we, that will calculate the minute you put in your pay rate and your workers' comp and all your, your additional information. When you put that in, now, now let's talk about real-world scenarios. So we're looking at, okay, how would I use this? I want to know, I really want to bill $15. $15 an hour, what's that going to get me? Well, this, in this example, you can see that it's 27% over break-even, and here are your charges, and your gross margin is at $124.08 on 40 hours at $15 an hour. So you're billing 15, you're paying 10, and your gross profit percent after your burden is 20.68. Obviously, it's 1.5 markup. We can, that's a pretty simple math calculation. Uh, what we're looking at here, what are the scenarios? The piece of the break even that can be used for many different what-if scenarios. One example, um, I know what my office overhead is. My office may, with my rent and my heat and my electric and my internal staff that I pay X, I need to make five, we're just going to say $5,000. And my, my markup or my gross profit, you don't need to put in every single pay and bill rate. If you know what your profit is, you can put in just so it equals your profit percent. So in this case, let's say your profit's 20.68. It doesn't matter. It's just the number of hours at that point what your profit is going to be. So this is per hour. We know what it's going to be at 10 and 15. That's going to be 20.68. So if I bill 40 hours, I'm going to make $124. So how many hours do I need to bill to cover that $5,000? dollar profit. That's one item. Um, if I have multiple offices, I can give that to my office manager and say, here's where you need to be. You need to bill this many hours at this total gross profit percent in order to cover your office expenses. You may have a large project and you're trying to determine how many hours you need to bill in order perhaps maybe to have an on-site that you have to pay for. Um, New office projections, how much is the rent, what do I need to bill out of a new office in order to make sure that that office is going to be profitable. Another example is benchmark for managers. You know, you, you can say, I expect this manager to get X number of dollars profit out of their office. And they can determine, and maybe, you know, they can break it out. Maybe they, they like breaking it out by, out, you know, I'm going to send out 200 people, 200 hours at this gross profit, and then so they have a number, and then I have to add together I'm going to send up this many hours at this gross profit. There's a lot of different ways that this tool can be used in order to calculate for you different scenarios. Um, other suggestions for the break even tool. Um, if you're using this for sales reps, Make sure that they're understanding what they're looking at and how this is done. We've taken some of this and, and sometimes and we've literally color coded it in that if you say to me, you know what, I want, I want this field, the field that says gross profit percent, I want it to turn green any amount over 25% and I want it to 
turn red if it's below 25%. We can do that, and then, then you can use that as a tool that says you're good to go if your gross profit is red. Um, we've done different scenarios for different people depending on what they need. Um, other suggestions is, is know who has the report. What I mean by that is if you're, if you're handing this out to your sales staff or your office managers, know who has it and know what the most recent version because the last thing you want to do is you're in March and your sales folks have signed four new deals using last year's numbers. So it's really important that you're, you're keeping track of who has what version and how, it's, how things are, are shaping up. Um, make sure that when there are changes that everybody's getting the new changes. Um, in reference to training, make sure that they're trained at the tool. I would be more than happy to train anybody at this tool. Um, I've done conference calls with groups of people. I've talked one-on-one -on -one with people. We've developed um, different uh, specific methods on how this can say some stuff's hidden, other stuff is, is available, different fields can be requested. And then please make sure that um, you're getting, you're asking Tricom for updates if you're not automatically getting them. Um, we're hoping that in the next year that we're working on, well, we are working on having this uh, incorporated in our Lawson product. Um, so everything will be um, real time. Um, and obviously from that point, we're hoping that we'll, you'll be able to log in and you can actually use, you'll have your real-time rates in there and uh, real-time workers' comp codes. Um, that's to come hopefully in the next year. Okay, so at this time we're going to open the floor for some questions. So if you could go ahead and use either the Q&A section or the chat feature located on the right toolbar and um, type in any questions that you may have. Uh, we can also make the PowerPoint presentation available to anyone that may uh, like a copy. You can go ahead and either email Mary Jo directly or myself. And as we're waiting for a few questions to come in, Mary Jo, can you tell me when you bring on um, a, a company for using the break-even analysis tool for the first time, what things have they um, benefited from that, that you find most valuable to them? I think that it, it, uh, uh, very frequently when we bring on a new client, a lot of the time it's because they had been using the, the markup scenario. And they've, you know, especially after 2008, you know, unemployment rates and workers' comp rates, we all know, are too much of an issue to not consider, not to take into consideration when we're doing these. And, we found that um, clients are coming to us after they've realized that perhaps they're, they need to use a new method in order to get these, the sales staff to really understand everything that encompasses profit. Okay. Um, I have a question that's come in asking, how much does the tool cost? Well, um, this tool, it, it, it's, it doesn't cost anything. It's, it's, we offer it to all our Tricom clients. Um, if you're with us full service, we have all the information that's necessary. We would just have to make sure that we had all updated information. If you're a funding-only client, we can get that information, and we can definitely set up anything that you're looking for in reference to this. This is just a value-add that we've, that we've had available for our clients, and we're more than happy to work with anybody to get this set up. Okay. And then uh, we have someone looking to put up the slide that shows the fields of deduction. Maybe Mary Jo, you could tell me exactly which one that is. That's the one that has the burden. It's the burden. So let me go back and. So I have slide 12 up, and it does have um, the fields of the burden. And again, if you have any specific questions about how this works um, or about any of these, you can certainly reach out to Mary Jo directly. Okay. 
Do you have anything else that you'd like to share with the group before we just, just don't hesitate if you have questions or if you'd like if, if this is something that you'd really like to use toward your with your sales staff, whether it's with your sales staff, with your managers or yourself, do not hesitate to contact me. I'm always available to answer questions as it relates to it. Answer questions as it's a profit or if you have something that you you'd like to consider to be part of this and it's not included in what you see here, we can definitely discuss it. Wonderful. I have gone ahead and opened up the poll, so if you'd like to give us your feedback, we'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, additionally, I do have our contact information up, so hopefully if you have um, any other questions or would like to begin utilizing the tool, please do reach out to Mary Jo and she can get that set up for you. Thank you for your participation. Um, and Mary Jo, thank you for your knowledge of the break-even analysis tool. The recording of the webinar will be available on our website at tricom.com underneath the resources and industry insiders webinar tab. Thank you again and watch for information on our upcoming webinar session in January. Have a great day.